We have to look at everything. Um, you know, every part of our school we have to look at, but when 80 to 85 percent of your budget is staffing, that's where a majority of your cuts are going to probably have to come from. It's a task no superintendent wants to do. Cut the budget. It affects staffing, athletics, and other areas in the district. But Charlevoix superintendent has no other option to make up for the shrinking state funds and declining enrollment. The last eight, nine years has been a uh, continual decline in enrollment and uh, for every student that you lose uh, that's seventy eight hundred dollars per pupil that we lose so uh, over that time we've we've lost a number of students and um, it's, it's cost us millions of dollars. He says there are a number of outside factors that also contributed to the deficit. For example they lost a hundred thousand dollars in a dried up stimulus program for special ed courses. Also, the Better Practices and Standards program has decreased funding by nearly $50 per student for the coming year. You know, I think from the state level, they look at it maybe as a bonus, but when you're looking at declining per pupil funding in our foundation allowance every year, um, we're looking at it as a, as a big source of revenue. The Better Practices and Standards program has also caused funding headaches for other districts in the region. Boyne City says they're on target to lose $60,000 next year alone. And Superintendent Peter Moss says the schools received a memo this month saying next year there will be zero dollars per student. Well, we always knew that um, that was the type of money that could be pulled from out underneath us at any time. Um, however, uh, as you try to preserve programming and class size and things like that, you, you take whatever dollar you can get to, to make ends meet.